Another phenomenon you need to be aware of is scattering. Scattering is sometimes confused with refraction. So refraction is changing the angle of the wave. Scattering is when this happens, but not at the scale of the entire wave, more at the scale of each individual particle that constitutes your wave, each photon. So again, back to my backyard, you see the beautiful light. Imagine that there were many, many small, tiny diamonds between your eye and that light on the ground. What would happen? Well, the light would reflect on those diamonds and would probably go in many directions pretty much like this. Of course, they are not tiny, but they are diamonds, and they create that effect. See at the back, you see, of course, some of the light, but you also see some light where there was shadow before, and you also see some reflection going pretty much everywhere. So that effect where your light is going through some substance that would move some of the particles, but not all of them, is what creates that effect. In the air, Humidity can cause that effect. When you have wave going through a cloud or heavy rain, the photon may be hitting some micro drop of water, and some of these photons may be spreading in some direction. So you know, it's not like refraction where the entire wave changes direction. This, it's more some components of that wave that change direction. The result is that still in the main direction of the wave, the wave is a lot weaker, and you get some echoes of that wave pretty much everywhere. Sometimes the wave becomes completely unusable. Again, not something that happens very often indoor. Not so much because there is no humidity indoor, there is, but because the distance we travel is not enough that this phenomenon might be damaging the wave. But outdoor, if you set point-to-point -point links, yes, that may be an issue.